Hello, my name is Basilius, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening. Now, on the last part, we did a paralogue, did some shit with Anna, whole lot of stuff. Now we're gonna get in with the main story. Actually, not yet. We're gonna do another paralogue, and then we're gonna get in with the main story in the next part. But in this part, yeah, we're doing a paralogue. Paralogue 3. My lord, look, risen. Ugh, there's a village just up ahead. Come on. Help! Help! Open the gates! The dead walk the earth! If you've got any kindness in you, open the gates! We're from Woodham up the road! You know us! Please open the... Oh, no. No! They're here! Ah! Right. Hmm. The townsfolk of this village are renowned for their hospitality. How could they turn away refugees fearing for their lives? Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. We got some support conversations. We got three of them. Or whatever. But first, let's choose our units. And I'll get back to you guys in a minute. And we're back, and we're, we're gonna do the uh, support conversations we have. We have Krom and Lissa C support. <sighs> really? Well, that was a big one. Huh? Oh, Krom! Listen. Something on your mind? Or are you just sighing for the sheer joy of it? Uh... Well, it's just, do I, do I seem like a princess to you? Um, how's that? Uh, I'm asking if I seem like a princess. Right. If you aren't, you owe us some rent for your room in the castle. Hey. Oh, hardy har. That's not what I mean, and you know it. I'm asking if you think I live up to my station. <sighs> what brought this on? When I compare myself to you and Emran, I... I feel like dead weight. What a stupid thing to say. What? Hey! Well, it's the truth. You're just fine how you are, Lissa. Give yourself a little credit. I'll see you later. What? Hey! Don't give me a lazy answer and then run away. Don't trip and break your nose, jerk face. Okay, that, was, that last bit may have not been the most princess-like. Maribel and Frederick Seasport. Uh, hmm. Yes. Ah, uh, Maribel, I hope you're well. Well. Yes, thank you, Frederick. It's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Is it true what they say? That you're a professionally trained steward? What? A steward? Gracious, no. I wouldn't have a clue about such work. I am a knight, my lady. Really? Oh, that's not what I heard. But I suppose rumors have a way of... Uh, what are you doing? Ah. I am laying out Princess Lissa's garments for, for the morrow. Clearly. Let's see that something a steward might do. No. I suppose. But I only do, such, do so if I have spare time after killing and such. Ah. And what do you... You do after, finish out, after you finish out laying these garments? Well. I shall check on the dinner preparations and then plan tomorrow's menu. What? You are a steward! No. My good lady, while some of my duties may resemble those of a steward, I assure you... <sighs> I have spent a lifetime in noble houses and you, sir, are a steward. Serving tea, dusting china, polishing the good silver, you are most definitely a... <laughs> I am not a steward! I just like things to be neat and tidy. <laughs> well, you are terribly good at it. So perhaps you would go to my manor and instruct my staff? Explain. Milady, I don't think. Yes. Frankly, it's impossible to get good help these days. I hit Stuart is so old, he's off, off with the gout nearly every other day. 
Now, we don't just want to work the poor man to death, just think of the scandal. But a house can't maintain itself, and what will we do when he kicks the bucket? Right. Your sympathy is touching. Clearly. Eventually, he has had to put out, put the, our, pulled, our poor old steward out to pasture. But I would consider it a personal favor if you trained our young staff in the interim. I'm sure there's so many things you could teach them. This is just that we have a new man in place, of Wait. course. Milady, for the last time, I am a knight! I am not, nor have I ever been a stu- No! Fine! Then just show them how to tidy up or whatever it is you do around here. You teach recruits how to fight, yes? It's just the same except you fight filth. Well, yes, it is true I helped instruct the younger shepherds. But they're the best and brightest of the realm, and I merely offer advice. Really? Oh, good heavens, you couldn't possibly make this any more complicated. Fine, then. Why don't you teach me so I can teach them? What? Teach you, milady. <laughs> I'm not... I'm nothing if not the best and bright. So, yes, you shall teach me tidiness. And once I've learned your secrets, I can put out our manor back to order myself. Well, I suppose that is acceptable. I've done that, Frederick. Now that we're done with the supports, I'm going to cut back and then we'll be starting the chapter. Yeah. All right, we're prepared. I, I fucked with the team a little again because I felt like I have to and now we're ready. So let's fight. Victory, route the enemy. Let's do this. From you and Sumia. Uh, you do things, but first of all, Antony and Lissa want you to go over here. Antony, I want you to cast some magic. Right in this guy's stupid face. Nice one. Antony attained the weapon level C with his magic. Because he's a fucking wizard. Ooh! Shit! Sully, come into town! Fucking hell. Come on, Donnie. You can do it. Get her done. Um, also, first of all, though, Pan and Rickon, you team up, and you murder the fuck out of this Risen. Murder his stupid face. Whoop. Ow. There we go. Yeah, you did it, Rickon! Good for you. Now... So I'm doing this thing in a theater class where we sing Broadway songs, but we're not doing a musical, it's just a compilation of song pieces that the students... Oh. It's Crit fucking central over here. And basically, we all get together, and we do Broadway songs. There's no story, we just do music. It's not a proper musical. But I am doing, me and a couple friends of mine, um, whose names are Bobby, Peyton, Eli, and Josh, are doing a... G Officer Krupke from West Side Story, which is rather relevant to us as a group of friends, because we did that um, back when uh, last semester when we actually did West Side Story. So it's got some personal relevance to us as a group. It's got them. It's got feels attached to it. And oh boy, <laughs> that's pathetic. A master tactician, bitch. Seriously, I love the hair that I chose for my guy. It is an awesome hairstyle, and I love it.
bloody glorious hairstyle. No, dumbass! Stop! Um... You... A vast fiend. Ah, crap, baskets. Just move. Attack! Come on, Varian! Save the Ion! Who's here to slay the enemies of us all? With the power of France! Oui, oui. Um, but speaking of Crit Central. Every time when uh when I was playing through Conquest, uh the Byron Fates Conquest, I gave um Charlotte it was a, a forged version of Ryoma's club. And it was called Crit Central. And goddamn were those crits magnificent. It was fucking glorious. But not glo more glorious than Donnie! Stabbing arisen. Yeehaw. Visit the village. Please, I insist. Shepherds always welcome here. Please take this with you. I got a blessed bow. Well, if this is if that is isn't that cheeky. We should probably have Rickon out in the front. Come on, let's get moving. Where are all the archers? We have a, a soldier risen chief? Why is the risen chief just the generic soldier? It's kind of weird. Hey, look. His classing in it. Yeah. An ordinary soldier wields a lance. Okay. Try and run over to... Can we get to Rickon in time? No. Not really. Well, whatever. Let's use some magic. Let's magic this dude's face off. Thunder! Because he shouldn't be wasting Elwyn. <sighs> God, these crits is reminding me. Not only of crit central, but... Ooh, level up. Frickin' didn't get any magic, damn, but also in Fates, um, in Conquest as well, and also in, uh, Revelation. For Arthur, I, I made him a, 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 a forged killer axe, and I called it the Axe of Justice. And god damn, I know I said this about Charlotte, but the thing is, Charlotte, while she may have the crits, she doesn't have any skill. Arthur has skill. And so, crits plus accuracy? equals the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my life. I'm pretty sure it brought a tear to my eye. The sheer amazingness of Arthur with the Axe of Justice bestowing justice upon all the evil men of the world. Sully, we got this. Woman. Yeah, it's gonna take two turns to finish him off, maybe. Or not! Because it is crit central up in here. And we don't even have the Axe of Justice. We just have the Axe of Vague Normalcy. God damn it, random villagers. Stop dying. Stop running towards your deaths. Dumbasses. 13. Yeah, we can do it. Come on. Thank you, Krom. Thank you, Sumia. Please don't die. Get over here! Rickon, Rickon, please tell me you can- oh, thank god. 
Thank God for you, Rickon. Magic this dude's face off. Thunder! Again, bitch! Doubles! Doubles for days! Now this fellow is safe. Let's bring Lissa with Antony down here, and we're gonna heal this villager. Whoop! Now he's not gonna get his face murdered. Beautiful level up for Lissa. Absolutely beautiful. Learned health touch. Hmm. Cool. Send you two over here. Let's get these two to see what this is all about. I've been taking me some combat lessons. I got lots to learn, but I'm getting better. Gain some experience. Woo! Oh yeah, that is Murder Central. Not even happening. Oh boy, yeah! Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's dead. He is decked. Woo! Ah. I call you a dumb- Fucking hell, you're a dumbass. Dumas? Dumas from that one WoW quest line, is that you over there? You gonna be the Forsaken? That was amazing! <sighs> yeah, but seriously, no, there was a, a WoW quest line with a guy named Dumas. That was a thing. And let's just use Elwyn. As long as we, we save one of these bastards, we should probably get something. One down here. Use heal. Heal Rickon. Thank you, Lissa. Now, so long as he does not run face first into that night, we should be fine. Get over here with Donald. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Okay, this is a thing that is happening now. Alright. Okay. Uh, this? I, I don't know why I'm surprised that these dipshit peasants are running right into the enemy. Especially in a beefy ass night. It's a certain level of dumbassery that I just can't comprehend. It's like it's not quite human. It's hard to describe. Hey, Virian. You'd only just shoot this guy in the face, would you? Yeah, you would. Can you shoot this guy in the face? Rah! Come on, Virian. You've got this. You are French. Aw, oh, damn it. She's gonna try and get that for Donald. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, you got close to a level up. Oh, we got an elixir! Bitchin'. I'll just end the turn. Don't fucking... Fuck! God damn it! and get in the woods for a minute. I'm gonna do some cheese. We're gonna, we're gonna cheese this. Well, we lost whatever we would have gotten from that if we even get anything from that, but it's not my fault that the village is fucking retarded. I mean, don't, don't blame the messenger. Uh, 13. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Come on, Pan. 
Do it. Don't worry, I'm here. Ah. Have some more. Oh, thanks, Rickon. Well done. Oh, we got some magic. Woo! And that's a chapter. Turns eight. Heroes Rickon and Pan. I failed them. I let them die. My lord. No, my lord, you gave it all you had. That is no failure. And we can still give them peace. They deserve a proper burial. Gods. They deserve to live, Frederick! Damn it. Eh, whatever. Anyways, that's enough for, uh, for now on Let's Play Fire Emblem Awakening, but I'll see you guys next time. My name is Vasilius. See ya.